Hello everyone. I know this spot where there's about 30 to 1 ratio. So we're talking about gold rings, some 18 carat, but mostly 9 carat. They're very, very old. Now they're all stuck in mud. They're very hard to retrieve, but that's why we're modifying these two shovels. Actually, this is a plastic scoop that Darren made out of PVC plastic. Works very well. We've already tested it. It's very easy to use. We got a target, but um, check this out, our, our velvet straights. Love it because you can wave your detector over it, so it's really good. Look at it's just dug out of the hole. Don't know what it is yet, so you guys are going to see it with us. Oh, lovely. It's a nice earring. Give that to you, wash it up. Cool. That's a nice little find. Love liking this. Like liking it. What is it? Oh, I wonder if it's diamonds or if it's fake. No, that's 24 karat gold, eh? No. Oh, hang on. 375 gold mark. Wow, that's pretty. It's got stamps all over it. 9 karat gold mark. Cool. That's pretty. That's very encouraging using the new scoop. Is that a coin? Yeah. Get that camera wet, be careful. Cool. Pretty good. The bridges that connect the nylon to the mainland, I think there is a theory that people throw their rings into the water because they wash up in certain pockets along the banks. Even the white sand is worth checking. Just have a look at that white sand just there. If you go there on a very low tide, you can expect to find a concentration of coins. After a while it becomes easy to hear the difference that coins make over other items lost. On the surf beaches however, gold items can sink more than a hundred millimetre on every tide. So Time is of the essence if you're going to see your lost jewellery again, but if there's any water rips or after heavy storms, sometimes many gold items can turn up very close to the surface. Last time we were here we got two rings right there. That's why I'm using the bucket to separate it all. I should have tied a string between me and the bucket because it keeps drifting off. But uh, I'll just keep working and we'll see what we get. There's another one here. It's getting pretty hard to see down here. Very, very muddy. this is but that looks like an 18 carat ring maybe with a diamond holy shit you little beauty that's not often you find diamond rings here mainly you find solid 18 carat rings nothing with a diamond and that's 18 carat too you know how I know because it's still shiny all the nine carat stuff is really really deteriorated I wonder if we got any more. Check it out. I'm gonna put this in my pocket.
coin. Coins. More coins. Come on. Hi. A nine carat. We got a nine carat ring. Okay, let's see what else we got. I'll put all the stuff here. I don't want the bottle tops. Good, oh, that's a 50. We got another one. That's probably silver or nine carat. Hang on, another one. That's probably silver. So what we got? We got one 18 carat, one silver, one nine carat, a few coins, a lot of bottle tops. I know we had a lot of little sinkers, but they all fell through the holes. So that's only designed just to catch the rings. The small rings can't get through that, but the little sinkers can get through. Five cent pieces can't get through. So I'm really happy with that. That's pretty good going. That's a nice fat diamond on that. So, paid off guys. Today paid off. All that hard work, about four or five hours hard work, has paid off with a beautiful that's probably a platinum setting in that too, and a diamond ring. Good stuff.